it's very much better off. Got a little show called Open House, so uh, we're part of selling the blocks here. What made you become involved with Port Hughes? Why Port Hughes, Big Royal, Little Town? Well, uh, yeah, good way of putting it. Uh, in our business, we get asked to do a lot of work uh, yeah, all around the world. And obviously, back home here in Australia, we want to be involved with the project of uh, some magnitude, no matter where it is. And uh, yeah, here in Port Hughes, when, you, when we first got the job, I said, hey guys in the office, you guys know where Port Hughes is, South Australia. And they go, uh, no, no, not really. Uh, but yeah, when you get here, you understand what it's kind of like a micro-economic climate that exists here. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's my last visit to what I was here and the visit I'm doing now, uh, you've seen the transformation. I've travelled the world and I've seen what the economy is like on a, a global basis, and there are pockets of success. Yeah. And Port Hughes is a pocket of success, and I think it's just fantastic to see that. Well, it's fantastic you put your name to it, and I think from now on the uh, momentum is growing. It's just going to really kick on. How much hands on are you with the actual development of the golf course? Well, I'm hands on with all my projects. Yeah. Uh, I think it's important my name's on the door. Sure. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, you're representing your name to the right level. Uh, I take a lot of pride in, in the work I do because I know when I leave here and the project's finished, the project stays here. Uh, so you want to make sure that the work that you've done stays on the ground or goes onto the ground the way you like it, is maintained on the ground the way you want it, and exists. And it's going to be here a lot longer than I'm standing here. So uh, it's important. And uh, I, I, I make an effort to visit every virgin site of every project I do. Uh, and we go back and see the you know, the, like the heavy construction work right now. And then we'll come back and do the fine tuning. So there's an art to building a golf course. And there's a lot of people that do it behind the scenes. Um, but at the same time, it's a collaborative effort by everybody. And uh, my little piece is easy. When can we actually hit a ball in anger? When is the uh, first nine holes ready to? Well, they're shooting for probably um, autumn the next year. So if I, I practice, I'll meet you on the I first in order. Should be, yeah, <laughs> whether I'm here or not, I don't know, but uh, no, it'll be ready to go. Can I just ask you a question? You've been an extraordinarily successful, obviously, sports person and business person. Now, I get how you get there, you work hard. But how do you maintain it for so long? How do you maintain staying at the top? Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I enjoy doing what I do. Passion. Um, I build a business that um, uh, I'd like to see go on life in perpetuity beyond my being and you know, living. Uh, I have that ability. I've done that to, to a degree with a lot of things, whether it's a clothing line, whether it's a beef line. Golf course design can live in, on it in a lot of ways uh, because your name is going to be there because it's a, you're working with a piece of canvas. Um, but it's just the fact that I love doing it. Do I enjoy the travel as much as I do? done in the past? No, I don't enjoy the travel as much. Would yeah. I like to slow down? Absolutely. Yeah. But at the same time, you, when you build something up, you've got to teach the people around you uh, what your long-term yeah, views right. are in the business. And those, those individuals who work for you and being with you for a long period of time uh, can start picking up a lot of the slack. Um, so it, things don't happen over one or two years, they happen over 15 or 20 years. And uh, it takes a long time to get something going. And Unfortunately, I'm in that position where I can start thinking about tailing off a little bit and uh, yeah, still doing right. what I love to do, which is my golf course design, my uh, clothing line, and uh, you know even the wine business. Uh, I love doing that stuff, so I can uh, I can still focus on that and still have a lot more time for myself. Great for us business people. It's just been fantastic to watch somebody from Australia be so successful. And thank you very much for your time. We've got a foundation, Harcourt's Foundation. I was sure. wondering if you'd just sign a couple yeah, of sure, things for us, and we'll Absolutely. be able to auction that off and put that to really good. Thank you very much indeed. This money will be going. I hope it goes to all the good causes. <laughs> <laughs>